Hello, everybody, and welcome to a brand new episode of the Kistler O'Brien podcast. I'm Tyler Trumbauer with Kistler O'Brien Fire Protection. As we're getting set for our July 2021 episode, and I think we got a good one for you here today as we're joined by another member of Team KOB to talk a little bit about something different, hiring in the fire and life safety industry. Hiring has been in the news all over the place over the last several months as the world emerges from the COVID-19 pandemic and businesses try to navigate um, the life in this new normal. And joining us today to talk about that, working at Kistler O'Brien and all that has been going into recruiting over the last few months, we are joined by Kistler O'Brien's Human Resources Manager, Ashley Stroll here today. Ashley, thank you for a few minutes of your time today. We appreciate you joining us for this month's episode. Yeah, no problem. I'm glad to be here. We appreciate it very much so. And I think uh, you have a unique perspective as well to join us today to talk about because not only can you speak uh, from the HR manager role, but also from someone that is fairly new to the Kistler O'Brien team. We are constantly hiring and recruiting. So there have been newer employer or employees on the team than you, but you still are fairly new to the team. So you have kind of that new outsider perspective still, but also understand the ins and outs of hiring right now uh, for KOB. And I think that is going to provide some hopefully insightful and and great answers here today. So let's start off, though, first with introducing yourself. As I just said, you're new to KOB, but you're not new to HR, recruiting, hiring. Kind of fill us in a little bit on your HR experience, how many years uh, that you've been doing this that led up to you joining Team KOB in the last few months. Sure. So I've been in full-blown HR for probably approximately three or four years. Um, I started off in retail. Um, From there, I got my degree from Penn State University in Labor and Employment Relations, and that's where my HR career kind of grew. I worked hand-in-hand with our HR representative. Um, When I was at Rite Aid Pharmacy, from there, I went into healthcare. In healthcare, I grew in my recruitment, my talent uh, retention, mentoring, um, and just, you know, gathering employees in the healthcare field. However, COVID struck and things became even more challenging. Um, and then most recently within the last three months, I've been here at KOB and we've been focusing on all the same things here. Um, just a little bit different because it's a little bit harder to find staff who are willing to come in, um, and work and the turnaround seems to be growing. Yeah. And, uh, very Good points right there. And I just said in the beginning as well that you have that unique perspective as someone that's new to Team KOB. So you got all that experience in the HR field in various sectors and industries as you outlined for us. But your perspective, maybe just not as much as the HR manager, but just as a employee with Kistler O'Brien Fire Protection, what are your thoughts since joining the team and seeing everything from your perspective? Um, so I really enjoy working here at KOB. Um, It has been a breath of fresh air for me, kind of just, it's very rewarding to be in a team that I can grow with and, you know, is there for me whenever I need them. They're more like a family than, you know, coworkers. So it's great to be part of a company that, you know, feels so strongly about the culture. Good point. And, and I think that is true for almost all the positions that we have, the ability to grow and not just have a job that have something that you're part of a family where they respect your abilities and your successes and what you contribute to the team and uh, will reward that with you know growth potential, et cetera, along those lines. So sp- speaking of positions with Kistler O'Brien, I know we have a lot available right now. We're always hiring I think at one point recently, we had over a dozen positions available. I know we just filled a few. What are you and your team with the HR department actively hiring for the most? What positions um, are you trying to fill ASAP to help um, continue our mission at KOB and, and help make our customers' workplaces safer? Sure. So we have approximately 10 positions open right now. Our biggest need is for our technicians, the um the members of the staff that are out in the field, 
uh, working on the systems and making sure that everyone stays safe is our, our biggest need. Um, we have a couple positions in our installation department, sprinkler, standard products. Um, we do have positions available here in our Bethlehem facility at Westchester and also in our Reading facility. And we do have a couple sales positions open as well as we're looking to grow our sales business in Northern New Jersey. Yes, and I think a lot of uh, KOB social media followers saw that we just hired Philip in the Northern New Jersey area as well. So continuing to expand that um, area as well within the different services and systems that we work with here at Kistler O'Brien. So another thing that I wanted to talk with you about here in this month's episode, Ashley, is just the broader topic of hiring and recruiting in today's age. Uh, something that if you turn on any national newscast on a daily basis, they are talking about jobs, job numbers, creation, open positions, and all the hardships that there are for businesses, in particular, small to medium-sized businesses like ours uh, that are trying to recruit and hire and retain employees. It's, it's quite a time right now to be in human resources. What have you seen in your recruiting efforts and really over these last few months kind of navigating these uncharted waters, what have you needed to do to adapt to try to be competitive in this market? So what we've had to do is, you know, we've had to use many different types of sourcing channels more than we've used previously. We have several recruiters that we use to try and help us find um, staff. We've experienced the same as most people, the ghosting. Um, we've also had to come up with more creative things that we didn't typically do in the past, you know, being competitive with sign on bonuses, looking at you know, instilling sign on bonuses for us, kind of reviewing our benefits to make us stand out and make us more attractive to um, potential applicants that are coming in. Um, just kind of reworking all of the things that we already have and making them stand out from everyone else as we're all looking for the same, the same people. We're going through the same talent pools and trying to persuade them to come join us here at our facility. Certainly. And I think with us, we have been constantly hiring throughout the pandemic. It, it really has not slowed that much. And now it's just grown. And as you said, um, competing for a lot of the same available candidates within the Lehigh Valley marketplace um, is also troublesome with so many um, businesses, both small, medium and large, um, competing for the same pool of talent. And I think every business doing a similar thing with a, looking inward and reflecting and seeing what they can do to be more attractive to those candidates. So maybe something that you're telling these candidates as to why they should join Team KOB as opposed to company A, B, or C that may be recruiting them as well. What do you tell people um, that they should choose KOB as their employer of choice if they're listening or watching right now and they are potentially in the market for a new job? Sure. So we're definitely a very, you know, niche industry and we have plenty of opportunities to grow. Um, there's potential for training, education. We have a ladders program that they can use to grow their career. They're able to, you know, get to a point, maybe they don't start off exactly where they want to be, but they can grow into, you know, a more experienced employee through all of these programs, it's definitely a, a selling point for us to have the opportunity for a technician to grow into any area that they're interested within our company. Right, and, and you talk about the, the uniqueness of the fire and life safety industry. Um, maybe that could be a little bit of a, of a apprehension there for some people that, hey, I've never worked in this industry before. You know, I have technician experience, I have job, I have experience being on the road um, with a previous employer and, and working on different customer sites, but just not in this industry. What could you say to kind of calm those nerves in, in, as, as what you have seen that transition be like for employees that you hire that are going from similar positions in a different industry to now doing that for Kistler O'Brien in the fire and life safety industry? 
Sure. So we have a very good training program. We're always looking to improve our training program, but we wouldn't put anyone out in the field until they are comfortable. We like to make sure that all of our employees are comfortable in what they're learning and what they're doing. They have, we have a very extensive program where they shadow and they go out in the field with someone else for a significant amount of time before we put them out in the field to try and make them as comfortable as we possibly can. We want them to feel comfortable to be able to help our customers and provide quality service to them. And you mentioned the training um, program, and I'm glad you brought that up because another thing that I wanted to talk about is the training department um, within Kistler O'Brien. That is a part of the HR department within um, the team that you are a part of here at KOB is something that has grown in the last year, actually was created, number one, um, mm -hmm. grown to, in, to include technicians who were just like other technicians within their divisions, within their departments, but now are focused on the training of those technicians that they previously worked with. So what would you say about the training department, how important that is? And, and you talked about how the training program is, is growing and changing all the time. Um, it seems like it's a group of people that are constantly working, constantly adapting and evolving. And to me, it seems like the training never stops for our technicians at KOB. No, the hardest part is definitely that it doesn't stop. So there's always new things coming out each and every day, new bulletins that are, are sent to us to convey to all of our employees. So we constantly are having to re-educate our employees on, you know, the updated versions of systems as, you know, one system comes out one day and the next day it's obsolete and there's a new system. So we do continuously have in-class training, um, field training and uh, manufacturers training that they go through and we're also looking to um, broaden our horizons and partner externally to grow our training program to make it so that it's a lot easier for um, the employees to retain and also just more fun to experience. Certainly and this next topic I think we touched on a little bit with how we're uh, examining our benefits, examining what um, perks there are to employees both current and potential new ones coming in. But I think a lot of people, especially um, as you start to get a little bit older, are, are not looking for just that next job. They're looking for that career. Why does a job with Kistler O'Brien not just mean a job? Why does that mean a career compared to other companies where you work and that's just, that's just what you do? Why is it that what we offer here at KOB is more of a career path and an arc for someone coming and joining Team KOB than just another job for them? Sure, so with our ladders program, I think that is um, the best way for our employees to use and become subject matter experts in their career, and that'll help them grow. The ladders program is designed for them to grow as much as they possibly want to. So you can grow as little as you want, or you can explore the horizons and become anything at KOB that you would like to do. And that kind of gives them a basis of where to start and what to do to grow in their career. It gives them an objective to work towards. Certainly. And I think something that I've noticed when I joined Team KOB in 2020 is just the amount of people. Now we have 180 employees currently roughly and growing, as you said, double digit amount of positions available now the amount of people that have been with this company for a long time was something that stuck out to me. I don't know about you. I mean, you came from different areas and businesses, especially from HR. So you spent more time paying attention to how long people were there. But maybe, I don't know if that struck you the same way, but a lot of people have been here 20 plus years. You go even farther down to 10 plus years and that pool grows tremendously. To me, I think that tells a lot. I don't know if that kind of struck you the same way when you joined um, Kistler O'Brien. It definitely did because this is a smaller company than you know I'm used to. And here there is a large percentage who've been here 35 plus, like you said, 20 and 10. And I feel like it's awesome to have a company that is the size that we are with so many people who've been around for such a long period of time. It definitely helps with we have many subject matter experts and then not just a few. So we have a lot of people here that can be those mentors to our new staff members to help them grow in whatever area they're looking for. Right. And I think that 
that is something that is almost rare in a lot of instances because so many people, especially younger individuals like myself in the workforce, we're known for turnover. We're known for not being at a job as long as the generation prior to us and then the generation prior to that. Um, maybe we get a bad reputation for that, but that's just truly the way it is in the industry trend. So I think that says a lot about us as a company. And when I talk about somewhere that you can be, grow with, and help succeed long-term, both the company and yourself, Kistler O'Brien is the destination to do that because we have so many people that are living examples of that with their ability to be here for decades when in our generation, my generation, your generation, it's more, oh, wow, you've been here three, five, seven years. That's a long time. But we're looking at someone that's been here 13, 23, 37. Those are all numbers that are real within our workforce. And, and I just thought that was something that really told a lot about this team, this company, and uh, what they could do for, for anybody in any department joining Kistler O'Brien. And I think another thing too, Ashley, I mean, you, you see it a little bit more with the personnel, um, the ability to grow, adapt, and change where you may come in in one role, but as you start to understand the industry, understand the company, we love promoting from within. We love growing our own people and seeing them succeed in different positions. And that's something that I think a lot of people like to hear and see because they may join us as a technician, do that five, 10 years, but then go into something completely different. And we are the type of company that has so many positions that is capable of doing that and also enjoys doing that. And that lends itself to those longer term stays by our employees. Absolutely, I agree. It's definitely wonderful to see and very rewarding to be a part of, to see people grow. That's my absolute favorite part of being in HR is that when you see someone come in in a position as a technician and then they grow and flourish into a sales position, it's the most rewarding part of HR where you get to help them grow and, and get to that career goal that they want in their life and that brings them great joy. Certainly. And um, something that, like I said, we do quite a bit here at Kistler O'Brien. So I guess to kind of sum it up, we, I believe we said this a little bit earlier. We said this, um, I think, in different answers throughout this, but maybe as that main takeaway to somebody that's watching or, or listening to this podcast episode that's maybe on the fence about potentially applying here or changing career industries into the fire and life safety industry, your last little pitch to them to say, this is why you should work at Kistler O'Brien, really in any role, but maybe in those few that we talked about earlier that were, were you know, hardly um, really intently looking to hire right now. We're here for a noble purpose and, and having a job where you are performing a service that is so rewarding is, is really an awesome thing to have and to be a part of. So knowing that you get to be that person who's saving lives um, was definitely the rewarding part and having the ability to grow in whatever direction you would like to in your career. Say maybe you start as a technician, but then you flourish into and become a manager. Um, that That's awesome that we have the ability and we look for our internal employees first to see whenever we have an opening, what works best for them. If, if we have somebody internally and we, we try to get those candidates to wherever they wanna be and just help them. Very true. And I think the best example to, is that is our company president who started decades ago with the company in an entry level role, um, working on the, you know, out in the field and then now is, is running the organization as it is today. So again, Ashley, we really, really appreciate your perspective today and want to let our viewers know that if you are interested in learning more about any of the open positions, job descriptions, details, the company perks and benefits about working at Kistler O'Brien, you can head to our website, kobfire.com backslash careers. We have all of our open positions there. You can apply directly there. We also have all of our benefits, as I mentioned, that kind of breaks down about um, paid time off and uh, health and medical benefits and all the like that you would like to know. There is information on our website, kobfire.com. Um, you can apply right there as well. That application goes directly to Ashley and she will immediately open that email and take a look at your resume and application and see um, if you would be a fit um, to join Team KOB, which I think 
Um, you know, we have done a tremendous job bringing in a lot of great people, um, not only since you've been here, Ashley, but prior. And I think, uh, you know, there's more uh, great talent out there, um, maybe just a little bit harder to get to them and bring them in. But um, Ashley would be the individual to speak with about that. So be sure to check out those open positions um, on our website and uh, come on and join Team KOB because we have plenty of openings and we are growing tremendously. Um, not only in the Bethlehem area, we do also have our offices in Reading and Westchester as well. So not only people that live in the Lehigh Valley, but in Berks County area and the Delaware Valley as well. We're really everywhere, Ashley, wouldn't you agree? I definitely agree. And we are looking to grow, like I said, in our northern New Jersey region as well. We don't have a location there currently, but we are working to grow our business and maybe it's a future. That's true. Very good point. Northern New Jersey as well. So that'll do it here today. Ashley, once again, thank you so much for your insight, um, the expertise talking about the HR industry trends, what you're seeing with uh, your role at Kistler O'Brien, and then just really letting us inside what it's like right now, trying to bring people on the team KOB and, and hopefully uh, your appearance here with us this month on the episode will help bring more people on the team KOB. So again, we really appreciate a few minutes today. Thank you so much for having me. It was great fun. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. And thank you to our viewers who have tuned in for this month's episode. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe on our YouTube channel, Kistler O'Brien Fire Protection. And don't forget, you can check the audio only version episode out of this month's episode and all of our previous KOB podcast episodes, wherever you get your podcast, Apple, Google, or Spotify. That'll do it for us here in this month. Once again, thank you to our guests, Ashley Stroll, and to you, all of our viewers and listeners. For Kessler O'Brien, Fire Protection, I'm Tyler Trumbauer. We'll talk to you next time.